Hey guys, thanks for joining me for a new video. I'm inside today because it is raining again here in Virginia. It's crazy how much rain we've seen lately. But anyways, that's besides the point. Today I wanna to do a review of the print on demand production partner, T-Shirt Gang. You can find them at tshirtgang.com. I'll put a link in the description. But I've actually been planning this review since back when it was taking Printful up to six weeks to fulfill T-Shirt and mask orders because we were all looking for alternatives because we needed to get those orders turned around quickly. Unfortunately, when I did my initial test orders from T-Shirt Gang, one of them got lost in the mail. And by the time I actually got it, I had kind of forgotten about doing this video. But you know what? I've got everything planned. I've got the test orders. So what do you say? I'm gonna go jump on my computer and we can look into T-Shirt Gang and evaluate whether or not we should be using them. All right, thanks again for joining me, guys. Real quick before we start, let me introduce myself for the new viewers. I'm Ryan Hoog. I've sold over $1.8 million on Amazon to date. If you wanna follow the link in the description, I've got a free print-on-demand mini course delivered to your inbox over eight days, one lesson a day. I've also got a print-on-demand Facebook community. I'd love to have you there. I publish income reports on the first day of each month. If you wanna subscribe, you can follow along, follow my progress as a print-on-demand seller. And I wrote a full print-on-demand course, currently 10 modules, over 70 lectures. It will fast forward you to success. The earlier you join, the more money you make because all the time you would have spent not making as much money as you should have, you will basically eliminate that time and start making more money as a print-on-demand seller. It's okay to pay for education. We've done it our whole lives, most likely. So why would you stop now? All right, that's it. That's my spiel. Let's talk about T-shirt gang. So this is, again, a print-on-demand production partner similar to Printful, Printify, Gearbubble, Guten, some of the big ones. Uh, this one's probably a little bit lesser known. So when you go to their website, you can sign up for free. You can see at the top there, they've got a big thing telling you about the uh, COVID-19 processing times. And as of September 10th, they say that their current, which is today as of recording, their current processing, processing times for our main product line of t-shirts is about 24 to 48 business hours. Now they say business hours. Does that mean 24 hours in a day or does that mean eight hours in a day? So 24 would be three days. I, I don't really know. Unfortunately, like I mentioned, I did my test orders a while back, so I'm not able to give you a really um, up-to-date, accurate projection of that. Uh, but one thing I will show you later is that if you reach out to their support, they were very quick in uh, getting back to me. So you can probably ask. All right. So as far as COVID delays... Again, they're very upfront about it. When you log in, they also tell you that uh, the processing time for the main product line is 24 business hours. So whether that's one day or three days, that's still pretty quick. All right, usability of their website. Uh, I'm giving the integrations about an eight out of 10. So it looks like they have eBay, Etsy, and Amazon. I'm not gonna lie, I don't use them for any of these platforms so i'm just giving you like kind of a high level intro or intro or insight into their uh, website their services so as far as integrations go giving them an eight out of ten and it's great that they support what i would consider to be the big three usability for creating a product though unfortunately that gets a two out of ten their product creation wizard is uh, one of the worst i've ever used honestly i'm struggling to think of whether or not I've seen one that was harder to use. Uh, it's just not intuitive, not flexible. It, it just wasn't good. So I didn't like it. Um, hey, as a web developer, I mean, I can think of a few ways to make it better, but uh, just saying. All right, additional integrations. So eBay, Etsy, Amazon, uh, T-shirt gang commerce, which sounds like they're just selling it through a page on their website. Uh, Wix and Shopify. So if you wanna start your own website and have them fulfill the orders, that also is an option, uh, one that I've talked in depth about. I prefer to sell on the major e-commerce websites. You guys that have been subscribed to my channel, you know that, you know why. All right, they also support WooCommerce. Uh, so that's again, falls in line with Shopify and Wix where you'd start your own website and Squarespace. So they support, I guess the big four, you would probably say uh, as far as launching your own website. But they also support Bonanza, which I am selling on Bonanza via the Printful integration. Uh, I don't get that many sales. Granted, I also don't have Stripe set up because Bonanza wants you to also add your own payment processor, which makes me wonder what Bonanza even does for us. Uh, but either way, I've gotten a couple sales. They've all come through PayPal. It's the only form of payment I accept through Bonanza. So uh, anyways, I know this isn't meant to be about Bonanza, but it is there. If you aren't selling through Bonanza and you want to use T-Shirt Gang, you can try it out. Uh, Wish, I also use Printful to sell on as well. And then they have the T-Shirt Gang API. All right, let's talk about their products and pricing. So their classic t-shirt, 
it looks like they are charging $11 base cost, which is pretty high for a standard t-shirt. And then for 2XL, 3XL, they're adding $3 and $6, which I mean, you can pretty much expect that they're going to be more expensive. That's not unique just to t-shirt gang. Premium shirts, $12 base cost. Ladies t-shirt, $12. Ladies premium, $13.50. V-neck t-shirt, $13. Tank top, $13. So that's pretty good for a tank top. Uh, I believe that's cheaper than any of the printful tank tops. Uh, ladies tank top, $13. Long sleeve shirt, $15. That's also a good price for a long sleeve shirt. Uh, raglins 15 hoodies 26 pretty pricey i actually did a test order of a hoodie that you'll see in a second uh crew neck shirt sorry crew neck sweatshirt 1750 that's actually pretty good baby one piece 1350 kids t-shirt 12 so the most common items that you probably care most about are going to be the standard t-shirt which again 11 dollars and uh, the coffee mug, which you can see there at $11. And if you're like me and you sell hats, which they don't have as wide a selection of hats, but they do have some $15 base cost, which is on par with Printful. They also, I guess worth mentioning, they sell tote bags, uh, pillowcases, face masks. They have one hat and then a trucker hat variation, uh, aprons, and dog. I think that's just like a dog outfit. All right, so I always test the support, see how long it takes to get back to me. So I asked a t-shirt gang a simple question. Within 12 hours, they responded via email, so I do appreciate that quite a bit. Now, for the product creation wizard and the uh, workflow here, this is, again, not one of my favorites, probably one of the uh, worst ones I've ever used. So hopefully they fix that soon or, or improve, let's say. I'm not going to say fix because it does work. but So you'll need to upload an image. Uh, you will need to then it triggers a pop-up. You'll need to browse to your web, uh, browse your computer for the image, hit upload. And from there, you will not be able to adjust it very much. Uh, it's it's not it's pretty rigid in what you can do after uploading, similar to Amazon Merch, which I know not many people are a fan of the Amazon Merch um, product creation wizard for that reason. Then you have to select a product, a model, color, title, and uh, category, which again may some of those may disappear depending on what product type you selected. So I uploaded a basic text design that says hug dealer. You can then add your design to additional product types. It's very easy to do just a couple, well, one click per product type and then hit create on selected styles just like that. All right. And then hit add another. Now here's where it may get confusing. After you do that, you have to go to my t-shirt gang and then go to my products and then you'll be able to see what you just created. Cool. All right, now, if I want to do a test order, which mimics how you may be creating, you know, if let's say you're using T-Shirt Gang to backstop uh, Printify or Printful or whoever else you use. Maybe they get backed up. You need someone else to fill in uh, the orders temporarily. Well, like I've said before, you can very easily go into your other services that are uh, super backed up. You can cancel those orders when they're going to take too long. Then come into T-Shirt Gang or wherever else you're using and manually recreate them. So you'd come here, hit create product, uh, create order, again, input your customer's information. They do have a fast track uh, shipping option. Here's where it gets a little bit, like again, the UI is not the best, <laughs> factoring into that two out of 10 that I rated them. So you have to go and grab the product ID from your uh, list of products, which by the way, the longer your list of, like the more products you create, the longer your list of products, the longer your list of products, harder it is to find the product ID. Yes, they have a search function, but it's just, you know, this isn't ideal in my mind. And again, I mean, like a, if you hired a good web developer, like they could fit, maybe not web developer, maybe a, a team or something, but they could fix this or one really good web developer. I'm not trying to nominate myself because I, I don't prefer doing the web development as much anymore as I used to, but I do still dabble, but all right. Uh, you'll need to grab the product ID copy paste it into the order entry there and then uh, you should have to select the type the color and the size because again uh, if you just put the product id in there may be variations such as i think they should know the product type but then the color of that product type and the size and then the quantity all right so i went ahead i ordered a uh, face mask and a hoodie paid about 50 bucks. The hoodie was $23 product cost, $10 shipping cost. I put a little RH logo, actually the same one that I put on my uh, phone case that I'd ordered from Guten. So that's on the back of my phone. I figured if I'm ever like out in, in the world and filming something using my phone, people are like, why is he filming? 
I was hoping that maybe this would like indicate to them, hey, I'm a YouTuber or whatever. I'm not just a random guy filming in case you're like in the frame. Because I always thought that would be a little bit weird. All right. And I also ordered a face mask. And when I designed this mask, I had a little fun with it. I put something on it in text that was verifiably true related to the Cerveza sickness that probably would have surprised some people that only get their information from the mainstream media, which tends to fear monger more than just say what's verifiably true using scientific data. Anyways, if you get where I'm going with this, um, here's why I blurred it because the AI that decides what can be said on YouTube and other places like Facebook too and Twitter and whatnot. Um, they don't necessarily care what's verifiably true. If they don't like what you say, they will not only sometimes delete your video or suppress it, but they've actually deleted channels and I'm not trying to lose my YouTube channel. It's taken me two years to grind it up to this point. So I'm blurring it out and uh, you can use your imagination about what it says, but I'll put a little chart here um, to give you a clue about potentially what it may have been talking about because uh, it's good to also let people know like what the data says every now and then. So I actually didn't receive the mask for over a month. Like it got lost in the mail, something went wrong, but their support team was, uh, you know, they very graciously sent me a new one for free and they expedited it. So that was really nice of them. And it was delivered uh, relatively quickly. So what do you say? I'm gonna go jump on over to my other camera and we can look at the test orders. All right, let's start with the mask. So it came in a very tiny plastic bag like this, folded in half, uh, very easy to open. And rather than show the red side, I'm just gonna show the white side to the camera because again, I'm scared that YouTube's not gonna like um, something that is printed on the other side, even though it's verifiably true. And this is why we don't record YouTube videos wearing masks. <laughs> I'm like, I guess if there's gonna be a downside to this mask, it's that, it was, if it's not perfectly uh, above your nose and beneath the chin, then you're like sucking it in as you talk and as you breathe, which I guess is true of most masks, but, uh, and it's not really staying up very easily. I'm sure you guys are aware that a lot of masks people wear these days have like little things that go over the nose and help them stay in place uh, easier. But, all right, so that is the mask. Uh, I would say very lightweight, very, I don't know, com it was comfortable. Doesn't smell like anything and standard uh, little straps there that go over the ears. So this, in my mind, would very easily fit almost any adult because it stretches. So I think that has pretty broad appeal. All right, and then next I ordered a uh, sweatshirt. So got this big hoodie. Let's see, I forget what the brand even was at this point. And it is a Gildan Heavy Blend, so Gildan Heavy Blend hoodie. I know that T-Shirt Gang is not the only company selling these. Uh, this is the print. This is what the print looks like. And if I pulled it up closer to the camera, it's not going to show as well because I've got two really bright studio lights that won't be able to. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. There we go. So you can see the print quality there. I gotta figure out a better way of doing this. This is the first time I've been trying to do it this way. I'm scared to take my hat off, man. My hair is getting so long. This might be the longest my hair's ever been. So I'm leaving the hat on. There we go. <laughs> so this is me with the hoodie on. Uh, it fits perfectly for me, but I'm six feet tall. This is a size large, so I could probably get away with like an XL, but if I wanted something that's like fitted, um, this probably is exactly what I needed as far as like the length of my arms and whatnot, but this is heavy cotton. So after a wash, it's probably gonna end up shrinking. Therefore, I would recommend uh, that customers probably order a size up. And as you can see here, the print quality around the edges where I had put a drop shadow, it does not look that great. Um, I don't know if it comes through on the camera, but I am happy enough with the quality of the print that I'd feel comfortable using T-Shirt Gang as a backup production partner to Printful, which is my go-to production partner for apparel currently. I also do use Gearbubble to fulfill certain products like coffee mugs and shot glasses. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I appreciate you and your time. If you wanna do me a favor, hit that like button, let the YouTube algorithm know to promote this video to more people. And if you're not subscribed and you wanna hit that button, that would also be greatly appreciated. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.